Welcome to this uh, short video on an overview of integrated project management system using uh, Power Promise. So what you see is the home page or we can call it as a project center of Promise and uh, the other key modules of this integrated system includes ideation, portfolio, program, project resources, and reports and dashboards. So in this uh, the project center, we can view the overview of enterprise project uh, through multiple dimensions. What you see is in the form of uh, a overall project health. If we want to see that time dimension, you will see the high level statistics with a, a timeline view. Let me go, let us go into a specific project. Uh, I'll pick up uh, a website uh, development project. We see here uh, the life cycle of the project so that includes the pre-project stage uh, initiation stage planning execution and closure now these stage, uh, stages we can also use them as uh, uh, stage gates i'll navigate from the first stage onwards so the, in the pre, during the pre-project stage, yeah. basically we register a project in response to, let's say an RFQ or internally initiated requirement or a transitioning from a ideation stage to a project. So we record the high level statistics and then we can do a formal evaluation of this project in terms of uh, strategic uh, alignment, uh, financial viability, ease of implementation, risk of success or failure, and then capital investment exposure. So based on this, uh, basically it calculates a score in a scale of 1 to 100. So based on these attributes, now the score for this project is 82, and that can be used to approve. If it is an external driven project upon receipt of uh, a formal contract or purchase order basically we can put the preliminary charter uh, details and then we can move it into an initiating stage so here we can finalize the charter and then uh, record the stakeholders and their uh, characteristics or influence etc and then uh, bring in the requirements uh, in order that needs to be included into the project and then as we through an approval we move from initiation to planning you will see a number of uh, plan components are added here like uh, scope schedule financials from the organization to portfolio program and project once the plan is completed we can take a baseline Key identify key milestones, deliverables, plan the project risks. So from here, let's go a little deep into the schedule. Projects can be of different types, uh, uh, pure agile, pure predictive or hybrid models. So here we have a flexibility to adapt to any, every type of uh, life cycle model. So there are two ways here, the grid view simply like a tracker it works uh, define the structure activities assign resources set start date end date and then go on we can also define dependencies suppose if we want to take it to a timeline view like uh, a gantt view so we can define activities and then we can also define relationships and accordingly the dates will get adjusted 
and you can develop a full-fledged project schedule and uh, then identify critical path all those things if the project is done based on uh, a pure agile mode so we can define uh, the stories uh, tasks and then uh, move them into in the form of a kanban and then plan multiple sprints and then we can run it team members can be identified tasks can be assigned to them and in the in the board view we can also look from a team perspective individuals they can manage their own tasks so having baseline uh, when we move into execution we can move into the next stage so here few more tabs get added in terms of status report in terms of uh, change logs uh, issue logs uh, these things comes up so that uh, the project manager and the stakeholders need to manage time to time any meetings the decisions are arrived that can be tracked through a decision log now like this the project will keep going once the deliverables are completed tested accepted we can bring the project logically to a closure so here we can document the lessons learned go back and close all other planning components so that logically project can be closed and then uh, we can see it will go back into the historical information so resources are pulled from a central resource pool and the assignments can be looked at in terms of who does what and when from here all these project uh, plan as well as actual parameters will move into this reports and dashboards so where the senior management uh, can use them the dynamic uh, data from individual projects in terms of uh, monitoring and uh, taking appropriate corrective action so you will see here here all, all the project level program level portfolio level every report is brought here for monitoring and taking appropriate decisions i hope this uh, video gives you a reasonable overview about how we use power promise to manage the enterprise level department level various projects centrally through a, a PMO and a collaborative manner. Thank you very much.